we wish to evaluate integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus tangent of x to the 2017th power. But before we examine this integral, I want to review, I want to talk more about the last video's integral, the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over this crazy expression that we talked about in the last video on MIT Integration B playlist. And we found that this entire crazy expression was equal to pi over 4. And some of you mentioned and discovered a very elegant property of this exponent, that this exponent does not have to be 2015. In fact, it can be anything. It can be, let me just rewrite this entire expression, 1 plus x to the some k power times 1 plus x squared dx. And instead of having 2015, we can have 2015 times pi. Instead of 2015, we can have 2016 or 2017. We can have anything or instead of 2015, but we should have the same value of pi over 4. And the proof is not very hard. I recommend you guys try it out. An easy way of doing so is by going back and watching the last video. And instead of doing the long division, x to the 2015 divided by x to the 2015 plus 1, you are simply going to do long division of x to the k's power over x to the k's power plus 1 and repeat the same steps exactly as we did. And you should arrive at the same conclusion of pi over 4. This value of exponent is obsolete. It does not matter. And why am I mentioning this? Why am I mentioning what we examined already pretty exhaustively in the last video when our integral looks very different? Or does it look different? Let's examine this integral pretty closely. We have 1 over 1 plus x squared, and you guys may remember that when we differentiate, when we differentiate arc tangent of x, so when we differentiate arc tangent of x, we get 1 over 1 plus x squared, and we have some something related to that right here. So, why don't we try to make a substitution u is equal to tangent of x and see how these two integrals are related to each other. And as we are about to find out, the relationship is very intimate between these two integrals. And to begin with, let's start by changing the bound. x of 0 is corresponds to, so I'm just evaluating this integral, and I'm making the substitution u equals to tangent of x, because I see something related to arc tangent of x right here, and I feel like maybe we can relate these two somehow too. So we can get integral, and x is equal to 0, corresponds to tangent of 0 for u, which is equal to 0, and we have tangent of pi over 2, for our value of x, and that corresponds to u increasing without bound, approaching positive infinity. So we have this integral, and we have 1 over 1 plus, now tangent of x becomes u to the 20, 2017th power, because u is replaced with u is replacing tangent of x, and what is going to happen to dx? Well, because du is equal to tangent of x, we know x is equal to arc tangent of u. And differentiating x is pretty easy. Differentiating both sides gets us dx is equal to 1 over 1, plus, 1, over 1 plus u squared du, because differentiating arc tangent of x gets you this. So we also have 1 over 1 plus u squared du, and we're done. This thing is pi over 4. Why? Because we already know that integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over 1 plus x to some k's power, in our case, in our case, k is equal to 2017, times 1 plus x squared dx, in this case, instead of x, we just have u, but it means the same thing. Because the choice of variable is arbitrary, as long as you're changing all of them. So we have basically what we had in the last video, and the answer is pi over 4. So in fact, using the same reasoning, we can show that integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus tangent of x to any power k dx is equal to pi over 4 using this relationship. And you may say, that's that's very cool. And since we talked about this in the last video, we, we may have realized that the, the way of evaluating this integral is by relating it to this one. But what if we did not know this in the first place? What if we had no knowledge of this integral evaluating to be pi over 4, then we might not have gone ahead with the idea of the u substitution that we made. 
So, how can we without using this relationship, how can we go straight to pi over 4 from this integral? And that's what we're going to do right now. So we have integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus tangent of x to the 27th dx. And remember, in the last video, when we were evaluating this integral, we made a substitution. We made a substitution u is equal to 1 over x because we have everything in the denominator. And by making the substitution, we can make, we can force a term to appear in the numerator that's going to help us out. And that's a common strategy to use when we only have things in the denominator and only one in the numerator. But in our case, u equals to 1 over x does not really do its job because tangent of 1, 1 over u isn't, isn't as simplified as tangent of x. It really isn't getting us anywhere. So what can we do? Well, you guys may remember the co-function identity co-function identity for tangent or cotangent, which states the tangent of pi over 2 minus x is equal to cotangent of x. And this is pretty easy to visualize, so let me do that really fast. You can actually prove it by just expanding this, but le let's try to visualize this. So you have some, let's say we, ha we have some x value, we have some x value, and we know tangent of x is the slope of this line because because from last video, once again, if you consider this thing to be change in y and this thing to be change in x, tangent of x is opposite over adjacent, or delta y over delta x, which is simply the slope of the line. So tangent of x is the slope of this line. So let's think about this. Tangent of pi over 2 minus x. Minus x is the angle. Minus x is the angle that's going like this. Instead of going x the counterclockwise, now we're going to go clockwise. So that's negative x. And we have adding, we are adding pi over 2 to negative x. So adding pi over 2 gets, gets us this. So this, this angle is pi over 2 minus x. And realize that now delta x and delta y are somehow flipped. We have delta x Right. With this thing is now our new delta x, but it's the same as delta y that we used to have. And now this distance is delta x. So we have, for the new tangent, new tangent of pi over 2 minus x, we have change in y, which in this case was equal to original change in x over change in y, which is simply 1 over tangent of x, because tangent of x was delta y over delta x, which is cotangent of x. That's one way of thinking about this. And why is this so useful? Because cotangent of x is 1 over tangent of x. We are basically indirectly making the same substitution, u equals to 1 over x, but in a trigonometric sense. So let's do so. And so we want to say u is equal to no, x is equal to pi over 2 minus u, because you want this x to become pi over 2 minus u. So we have integral from 0, when x is 0, rearranging this gets us u is equal to pi over 2 minus x. So when x is 0, u is pi over 2. And when x is pi over 2, u is going to be simply 0. And we have 1 over 1 plus tangent of x, and now x is pi over 2 minus u, so we have tangent of pi over 2 minus u, when we know tangent of pi over 2 minus something is cotangent of that, so we, instead of writing tangent of pi over 2 minus u, let me just write cotangent, cotangent or 1 over tangent of u, and we are raising this to 27 tenths power du, because dx is equal to negative du, so let's make sure we have negative sign, and when we have negative, we can simply flip the lower bound and upper bound to get 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus 1 over tangent of u to the 27th du. And now we can multiply both sides by tangent of u to the 27th to get rid of this complex fraction. And we get integral from 0 to pi over 2 of tangent of u to the 27th over tangent of u to the 27th plus 1 du. And we can use the same method we used in the last video. Using the long division, we should get integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1. 1 minus 1 over 1 over tangent of u to the 27th plus 1 dx. Let me actually write that down. Tangent of u to the 27th divided by tangent of u to the 27th plus 1. This goes in once 
example. And when you multiply it out, 2017 plus 1 and subtract this, we should simply have negative 1 as the remainder. So negative 1 over what we were dividing by. And this thing is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 is pi over 2 because it's x going from 0 to pi over 2. Or you can think of it as a rectangle, area of a rectangle, with height of 1 and width of pi over 2. And we're subtracting integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus tangent of u to the 2017 d instead of dx, let's put du. And realize that this was what we started out with. So making the same thing, doing the same thing, saying this thing is equal to i, we now have pi over 2, this entire thing was equal to pi over 2 minus the same i. And using this, we get 2i is equal to pi over 2, or our value of i is simply pi over 4. So either way, we should arrive at the same answer of pi over 4, but I wanted to show you guys that these two questions are very closely related.